All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, today, we're gonna to be talking about a new product from Sherman Williams called the Gallery Series. Uh, that's a new type of paint they're making, and this is targeted for spray application for cabinets and trim. Now, you have your Emerald product out there, which isn't as great. I won't use it. We're gonna try out the Gallery Series and see what we find out. All right, so we're going to get into some spray details and show you how we do some things and talk in more detail about why the product's good, bad, how it compares to solvent. But just to give you a, an idea of what I'm really after um, is we are comparing that product to a solvent-based, you know, two-part catalyzed uh, spray system. The reason I use that is because it dries fast, it flows out really nicely, and it produces what I generally call an automotive grade finish. Um, coming from an automotive spray background, um, to me that means there is no orange peel when it, when it dries. It is dead flat with the proper process, but it is dead flat. It will have no texture. Um, if you're spraying anything waterborne right now, whether that's like a Sherwin-Williams Emerald or some of the products from General Finishes and their polys, um, you're still going to get some texture there. The General Finishes is a little better, but dry times aren't there. They all have their issues, right? Every brand, every product has its ups and downs. We just want to try out this new gallery series because our Sherwin Williams rep brought it in, told us about it, so we're going to check it out and see. If I could find a waterborne product that was as good as a solvent base, I would definitely switch to waterborne because I don't have the thinners, I don't have the smells, I don't have to mix, I don't have all the chemicals. It would be nice, but so far no one has brought one to us that can do that and we're still using solvent because of that. So we're gonna give this a run. Now, to not leave you in suspense, you have to watch every single minute if you wanna know up front, I would say the gallery series on this testing is pretty darn close to the solvent base. It's pretty close. It's not equal and it's definitely not better, but it's close, it's the closest I've seen yet. So let's find out more. All right, so the exhaust fan is still running, so it's a little noisy, but I want to show you what the texture on this looks like right out of the gun. So this is about 30 seconds after spraying. And yeah, it's pretty orange peely. You can see a lot of texture. Three coats at this point with the same stuff. We're sanding with 320 in between uh, on an orbital, actually, using guide coat. So it is perfectly flat when they come in here to spray. That means there's zero texture, uh, nothing. I can get into more detail on that in a separate video on the paint process, but there's no texture coming in here. Um, when I spray a few seconds later, there's a lot of orange peel texture in that. Uh, compared to spraying down a solvent, you're gonna have some when you spray for sure. Uh, but just a waterborne versus a solvent right out of the gun, there's a lot more orange peel out of the water-based, the gallery series from Sherwin. So I'll see here, I'm gonna set a timer for about 20 minutes, we'll say, and we'll take a look at them and see what kind of texture we have then. Interesting to see, if I had to guess right now, I'd say it's gonna be a lot worse than a solvent, but we'll see in 20 minutes. All right, so let me get the light here, there we go. So 20 minutes in, it's still got some pretty good texture. It is much better, but again, compared to a solvent, not looking good right now. We'll see how this looks when it's totally flashed and dry. Because if this is what it's gonna look like, that is not acceptable. Not nearly good enough. So it is the next morning after spraying the third coat of the Sherwin Gallery series on some test panels. And I have a panel here. I have three of them, but we'll go through one. Uh, I'll try to show a close up in a moment. I'm surprised by what I have this morning in a good way. So last night when it was still not completely dry, there was still a lot of texture to it. Uh, very orange peely, it was getting um, better, but it wasn't looking great. Uh, this morning, that peel is really gone. As it dried, um, it really came out quite nice. So I think at this point, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, 
the dry times aren't as good. But right now the appearance looks to be pretty on par with uh, like a solvent base. I don't know for sure because I can't, I haven't tested it on other wood, so I need to do that to be certain. But this is a positive test mostly. So let me try to show you the texture here. Okay, so this can be real hard to get on camera. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But compared to last night, you've got very little orange peel here. Okay, so as things stand right now, it looks fairly positive for this product. Uh, the gallery series compared to my typical two-part catalyzed solvent-based stuff, the main drawback I see right now is dry time. Um, Sherwin-Williams claims a 45-minute dry to sand time, but there's no way. I'm pushing at least an hour and a half of what I'm seeing, and I am not putting down the three to four mil thickness they want. This has been a little bit thinner, probably closer to two to three. Um, if I go three to four, I'm betting you're probably going to see a two, maybe three hour dry time before you can sand it. So I'm not sure where that data comes from on their side. I'm sure they've done their testing, but I can't replicate it. And again, here in this spray room, we're running very low humidity and a good temp. We're right about 70 degrees, somewhere 15, 20% humidity this time of year. So it should dry real quick. That's the main drawback I see. To give it a fair comparison, I should spray the same MDF material with the solvent-based paint, and then I'd have a fair comparison. Having done that a hundred times in the past, I can say I'm pretty confident the gallery series will be a little bit less um, smooth on that product. Okay, so the other major positive to the gallery series, though, is that it is a water-based single uh, stage product, right? You don't need a catalyst, you don't need a hardener. You don't have to mix it, though I do find, again, for the HVLP system, you have to thin it. I did 10%. It says on their spec sheet to only go 10% with water. I can see 20% being a little better, and it might actually flow out a little better that way. So again, compared to a solvent, that's going to spray through anything you want. An automotive grade HVLP gun will spray that without a problem. You wouldn't touch the gallery series through there. So that's a bit of an issue. but. The gallery series is again water-based single stage product so you don't have thinner you don't have to dispose of any materials it's just water cleanup which is really nice uh, you don't have the smell you don't have the vapors you don't have the mess that's a pretty big upside and it is cheaper to use because you don't have all those other components you don't have wash thinner you don't have a hardener you don't have an activator you don't have a reducer so it has its upsides but really what it comes down to for me and my business is does it produce the look and the durability that I want? And right now, it's pretty close. So we have a little more testing to do to be sure, but it looks positive on my first test. So we'll definitely have another video on this product, I think, moving forward, because I, I do want to do more testing. But for now, we're going to wrap this up, frankly, because I have to get on this brand the next project, and we're not using this product because I don't have full confidence in it yet. Um, so there will be more to come. But on the first run, that Sherman Williams Gallery Series does look very promising for a sprayable cabinet grade paint. So right now, I'd say if you can get a sample from your local Sherman Williams and give it a try, go for it. Because uh, you might be surprised. Uh, is it better than a solvent or equal to a, a solvent based 2K uh, spray system? No. Um, but it's close. <laughs> it's close to being equal. Very close, I think. So that's good. So more to come. Thank you for watching, guys. We might greatly appreciate it. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. It really helps us. We'll see you next time.